It's the Daily Dog. Hey, y'all. Welcome in to another edition of the Daily Dog. I am thankful that you are joining me today because, y'all, we're going to listen to some Zappa today. So uh, be prepared to get zapped. Uh, I have very much enjoyed all of the music that we have listened to by Frank Zappa on the channel previously, and I am excited to do another Weird Wednesday edition that features some music by Frank Zappa. Today, we are looking at uh, his piece called Cosmic Debris. This one is a suggestion from Marcos. Thank you, Marcos. Uh, this piece is from his 1974 album called Apostrophe. Uh, the last time that we did a piece by Frank Zappa, we looked at the Don't Eat the Yellow Snow suite from this same album. And on the album, this piece, Cosmic Debris, finishes the first side after the Yellow Snow suite. Uh, the version that we're going to look at today, the one that uh, Marcos has suggested to us, is a live version of the song, which, as I look at it, is nearly twice the length of the original track that is on the album. So I'm looking forward to maybe some extensions, some solos, some, some revelry, some good stuff. Uh, let's see, we have uh, Frank Zappa on guitars and vocals, Jean-Luc Ponty on violin, George Duke on the keyboards, Tom Fowler on the bass, Bruce Fowler on trombone, Ruth Underwood on xylophone and percussion, Ian Underwood on saxophone and clarinet, and Ralph Humphrey on the drums. So uh, off the bat, just the instrumentation is, is enough to make it a weird Wednesday. So let's see how this goes. This is Cosmic Debris by Frank Zappa. Here we go. This is xylophone. Such a unique sound to put with uh, the music. The mystery man came over and he said, I'm out of sight. The mystery man. He said, for a nominal service charge, I could reach Nirvana tonight. If I was ready, willing, and Let's able see. to pay him his regular fee, he would drop all the rest of his pressing affairs and devote his attention to me. But I said, <laughs> Who are you jiving with that cosmic debris? debris? Who are you trying to play, man? Don't you waste your time on me. Oh. Well, the mystery oh. man got nervous and he fidget around a bit. He reached in the pocket of his mystery robe and he whipped out a shaving kit. Now I thought it was a razor and a can of foaming goo. But he told me right then when the top popped open, there was nothing his box won't do. <laughs> With the oil of Aphrodite and the dust of the Grand Wazoo. The Grand he said, Wazoo. you might not believe this, little fella, but it'll cure your asthma too. And I said, Now, what kind of a guru are you anyway? Fascinating. Don't you waste your time on me. C minor, but when they go to the fourth chord, they're using a major fourth chord. It's a blues progression, y'all. There's nothing weird about that. Dominant seven that they're using when they go to the four chord. Major five, G chord, the F chord, C minor. Okay, 
George is going to do a solo. I'll let him stay out of his way. So this mystery man is like a guru or some sort of mystic that is offering to our narrator, played by Frank, uh, you know, the promise of reaching nirvana or you know, everlasting you know, contentment or joy. And he's like, game by. Everything that I've heard George Street play on has been just top notch. I actually remember listening to him play along with the Phil Collins big band on A Hot Night in Paris. It's one of my favorite uh, albums. Uh, and just ripping it up on the keyboard. crystal ball he said and he held it to the light so i snatched it all away from him Love and i showed bits. him how to do it right i wrapped the newspaper around my Different head group. so i looked like i was deep all of a sudden i said some mumbo jumbles then and i told him he was going to sleep i robbed his rings and pocket watch and everything else about Sucker hit the time. He couldn't even make a sound. I proceeded to tell him his future then. As long as he was hanging around, I said, The price of meat has just gone up, and your old lady has just gone down. Always a fun time listening to some Zappa. Who are you jiving with that prize, Mr. Blue? Now, who are you jiving? Don't you know? You can make more money as a butcher. So don't you waste none of your time on me. You can make more money as a butcher. Come on. You know, as far as weird Wednesdays go, that one wasn't extremely weird. The progression is basically a blues progression the whole way through, and he's singing the blues, except it's an inch, it's not really a blues song. In, for, in terms of the, the words, the mystery man uh, says, I'm out of sight, 
and uh, he says, for a nominal service charge, I could reach Nirvana tonight. <laughs> for a nominal service charge. Oh, man. Uh, he's just got such an interesting point of view, Frank Zappa does. Uh, this little uh, lick that they put in there was kind of fun. Um, it starts on the C. Um, da, 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 da. That's a pentatonics in C. The little uh, little uh, goes down to the F with a little tritone. Yeah, really fun. Uh, I don't remember the mal the the rhythm. Really fun stuff, Marcos. Thanks for that one. This has been really a fun time looking at some cosmic debris from Frank Zappa. That means we have looked at the entire first side of the, that original apostrophe record from 1974. And that's a pretty fun side of a record. I need to look at the other side to see how it compares as well. But uh, we'll save that for another time. But for today, I think that's all for, for us. Thank you all for hanging out with me and grooving to some Frank Zappa today. We will see you next time on another edition of the Daily Doug.